Wembley, chance to create history. Yeah, I think that's what we're here for, innit? You know, we're a, a, a small club and I think when um, me and Mark come into the job, we, we always wanted to sort of like do that, you know, it was a, the main aim. We wanted to win promotion and take this uh, small village club into the Football League. Um, it's really exciting. Um, we're fully focused. The lads are really prepared well, so um, we're looking forward to it. And of course, it's not an easy ask to create history because you're coming up against a Tramia team that have got a lot of quality. Yeah, it's, uh, they've got a lot of quality, they've got good support, they've got a good manager. Um, historically, they're a good side, you know, and um, we're up against it. But, you know, we're, as I say, we're fully focused, completely prepared, and we've done a lot of analysis work leading up to the game, and uh, we've done a lot of work on the, on the training ground, so we're, we're ready. You took four points off them in the league. Does that go out the window for Sunday? Yeah, of course. I think that it's um, it's a totally different game now. You know, it's a one-off. It's at Wembley. Um, there'll be obviously a lot, lot more people there, and I think it's a one-off. I think we can probably take a little bit of encouragement that we we beat them at their place, and I think the game that we played them here, we drew two-two, and it's probably one of our best performances, especially in the first half. So we can take some encouragement from that. But I think. We have to completely focus on, on, the, on the game on Sunday and I think, it, as I say, it's a one-off. Playing at Wembley as well, the pitch is going to suit your style, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I think that uh, looking at it, it's, I think Mark was saying it's something like four metres wider, so two, meet, two metres each side wider um, than the pitch here at the new lawn. So um, obviously if we get our passing game going, uh, I think it will suit us, so we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. How's training been this week? Has it been any different leading up to Wembley? Um, not really, we've tapered it down slightly. Obviously we've got a fully fit squad and we wanted to keep it that way so we've not had any real contact with the players in terms of small sided games or anything like that. We've, we've done a lot of tactical stuff and a lot of work um, on the training ground in terms of how we're going to play and, and looked at obviously Tramia's strengths and, and weaknesses and, and hopefully we can combat against their strengths and, and, and work, a, work an opening against their weaknesses. So you know we'll have to wait and see. We talk about their strengths and weaknesses. They're going to be worried just the same about the qualities that your team have got. I think most teams who we play are probably worried about our qualities because we, as I say, we're, we're the top goal scorers in the league this year. So you know, going forward, we we have got threats, and I think every team we play against have probably been worried before the game. But as I say, once the game kicks off, it will just be business as normal. Yeah, and of course, they're going to have twenty thousand fans there. Forest Green, possibly four, possibly five but you'll still want your Forest Green fans that are there to be your 12th man, like, like they were last Sunday. Oh, for sure. I think last Sunday the fans were outstanding. I've got to say, I really enjoyed the game. Um, really enjoyed watching the game, but I enjoyed the atmosphere as well. I thought it was fantastic, and I'd like to see more of that this se you know, next season as well. And for me, it's a big help. You know, I, I can actually say that for, from my point of view, from the, from the staff's point of view, from the players' point of view. It's a massive, massive help. I remember we played Dagenham in the league away and I think we took something near, something like nearly 200 supporters to Dagenham. And I remember in the warm-up there was hardly anybody there and then we'd gone in and as we come back out for the game, there was all there and they were setting flares off and God knows what. And the atmosphere was outstanding. I thought, wow, it's brilliant. And it really does help. It is like, a, as they say, the 12th man and it's, it's a massive help to us. So, you know, if, if you are going to the game, you know, try and bring somebody else with you. Try and bring a friend or an uncle, or you know, try and bring as many people as you can uh, to the game. Obviously, we want to try and get as many supporters there as possible. Yeah. It does help. Yeah. The uh, finally, um, the training this week gone very well in, in preparation. What, what are the plans now, for, as we speak, Friday? Well, we're Friday today. We've um, we've done an analysis session this morning um, where we've looked at a few things. Um, we've gone onto the training ground and gone through them bits that we spoke about in the analysis room. Um, so training's done for today, the lads will have lunch now and get a shower and go home. Tomorrow we're going to travel uh, to another location and train nearer to London um, and then on to the hotel and then we're, we're pretty much on site there then so um, we're really organised and, and prepared properly. Okay, all the very best to you. Thank you Ash. Cheers.